Hi everyone and welcome to Biology Professor. Today we're going to talk about how to do a flagella stain. So flagella are these extremely thin tail-like appendages that have this like whip-like motion or rotating motion that are used for motility by some cells. So some bacteria, some archaea, some eukaryotic cells can have these flagella. Now, they are difficult to see, um, pretty much impossible to see under a light microscope unless you use a special stain. And this is because of this one characteristic, because they are so extremely thin. They need a special stain in order to be viewed. And so let's talk about the procedure of that stain. First, they're treated with some kind of mordant, which is something to help the stain stick. Uh, that is usually in this stain tannic acid. It is really important in this particular stain because it gets added to the flagella and it coats the flagella and thickens the flagella and really makes it big enough to be viewable under a light microscope. So after the mordant is put on, the next thing that is applied is the stain. And there's a couple of different stains that are traditionally used. One is pararosaniline, uh, the other is basic fuchsin. Um, whichever one of those you use is going to give sort of a magenta or a fuchsia-like color. And that allows you to visualize the flagella to determine A, if the cell has flagella, B, how many it has, and C, what arrangement it might be on. Um, is it on both of the poles? Is it on just one of the poles? Is it all around the cell? That kind of thing. Now, there are some really special considerations when using this stain. One is that you need to leave the specimen on the slide in the water drop undisturbed for about 20 minutes after transferring it to the slide. This is because um, the flagella need that time to sort of regenerate and extend so that they can be stained and, and, and made visible. Also, no blotting or heat fixing. Why? And that's because flagella are just so fragile. So after transfer, they need about 20 minutes undisturbed on the slide to regenerate uh, and, and to extend so they can be viewable. Blotting or heat fixing will actually break off the flagella and so you won't be able to see them. And so that's why um, you have to take these considerations into account when doing this stain. If you're interested in learning about some other microbiology stains like the Gram stain, the acid fast stain, the endospore stain, the capsule stain, I have videos on all of those. So take a look at those and I hope you have learned a lot. Thanks for watching Biology Professor.